Jody, this is the first time I've seen you here at Hammer Camp in a couple years. Usually it's John, right? Yeah, both of us. Well, last year we didn't have it, and then two years before that I was here, and three years before that I was here. But the first couple, it was just John. It right. was just John. Yeah, early, right? Early years, yep. Okay, so. Who's number one was at the same time. That's so right, sometimes that's right. Like, yeah, you got other stuff going yeah, on. Yeah, we kind of divide I mean, and conquer there. You kind of got a really good club with some really good guys, right? You well. guys, you guys actually, Young Guns has the pound for pound best guy, in my opinion, in America right now, right? And Bo Bassett. He's tough. That guy's unreal, right? Yeah. You've known about Bo. You've been on Bo's uh, uh, radar for a long, long time. Long yeah. time, since he's a little, little guy, yeah, right? I figured yeah. that out like pretty yes, early on, right? Yes. Um, I had an eye for that, but you know, Bo is incredible, right? World champion, mauled everybody at the world championships. Um, and you've got other guys. You've got, you've got Jason Nolf as, as a club member. Spencer Lee's a club member. And, and that's just, that's off the top of my head, you know. Those are three yep. guys off the top. There's way more, right? Yep. I'm leaving out a ton of guys. How do you get guys at such a high level at such a young age? Um, I think they love it. And that's the one thing that, you know, me and my brother tried to preach more than anything else is just falling in love with the sport. And it's not easy. This sport is so hard. Um, you know, and it's challenging with the weight cutting and, and injuries and just the personal, you know, um, it's so personal, you know, when you lose, um, but just trying to have that connection as much as you can with enjoying the challenge. I know you don't love to lose, you don't love to get pinned, but enjoy the challenge of it. And that's truly what we push and just try to, to get at a young age to just love the process of becoming great. And then everybody wants their hand raised, but are you doing the things that it takes to, to get your hand raised? And that's the most important thing for us. When you come to something like this, what's the biggest thing you want young guns kids to get out of wrestling pinnacle? Izzy style, Burnett trained, wrestling factory. And that's just the ones off yeah. the top of my head, right? Yeah, I think it's a feel thing. Um, I think that's really, really important. You come here and you get a lot of different feels. You get a lot of different looks from other um, styles. Um, and then even as coaches, you know, we're, we're talking, whether it be on the mat or last night or tonight, you know, what are you guys doing at practice? And just getting different ideas from each other. And I think that's really, really important for us coaches learning and then you know the athletes learning from each other and athletes learning from the other coaches. And I think that's the last thing, like, man, the, the amount of respect that we have for the coaches here, they do it the right way. And I think that's really, really cool. I like what you said at break, right before break. And I think it's really important to you. It's important to John. It's important to all the kids that you bring in. They're, it gets chippy. Yeah, it does. This is tough, man. Yeah, that's what you're, it, get, you're catching a cross face. You might catch a knee to the face. Yeah. Dude's banging your head. Maybe he pushes you in the wall. Yeah. That's wrestling. That's the sport. How important is it to you to, to yeah. say what you said? Hey, man, shake the guy's hand. Right. Yeah. Right? This is where we're here to help each other, right? I think you see that across the board in this sport. You know, there's so much respect in this sport, whether it's from an athlete and a coach or two coaches. Um, at the highest level, there's a lot of respect for each other and the amount of time and effort you put into it. So, yeah, I mean, if someone's pushing you really, really hard instead of, you know, pushing them and, you know, whatever, fighting them and walking away, man, they were truly giving you their best effort. So you should be thanking them. You know, that's what we're here for. We want their best effort. We don't want them to lay down for us. We want to get a great feel. So make sure you're thanking them after that, you know, during, hey, it can get heated, it can get chip chippy, and that, I'm okay with that, you know, as long as no punches are thrown. Um, and then after you shake hands and you move on and what did you learn from that go? These coaches here, right? I see Izzy, Izzy Martinez. I see Coach Burnett, the Burnett brothers. I see yourself. I see Lawrence coming down from Minnesota. I see all, Michael Zicke. I see all these coaches. It takes a special person to be a coach for that. You guys aren't doing this for money. There's just you put way too many hours. There's too many miles on your body. What type of person do you have to be to want to be a club coach Bring your guys in from out of state to come to Delta, Ohio. Right. Right? In this gym, and we got all these guys. We got, we got the greatest MMA wrestling coach in the history of the sport. Is good. You know, John Jones is wrestling coach. Is he's here at a high school? Right. Yep. Right? Yep. What That's is right. that like to be a, a coach and to be those guys be your colleagues? Yeah, I, I mean, it, it takes a lot, you know, and it's something you have to love again. You know, the same thing that we preach to the kids. It's, it's, it's something I absolutely love. I love helping kids. I love helping kids steer them in a positive direction, away from drugs and alcohol. And I think that's really important nowadays, um, that vaping and that kind of stuff can be really, really cool and tempting for young kids. But trying to just show them that there's a better way to live, you know, and, and living the best life you can. And I think that was, you know, my parents were not, you know, they never wrestled a day in their life. And they were my best coaches I ever had. You know, just loving you for if you win, loving you if you lost, helping you any way I can, you know, help you get better. Um, so just putting a lot of time and effort in. and. And again, it's truly my favorite thing. Whenever I go to who's number one or I go to Super 32 or Fargo, 
there are so many amazing people in this sport that I just love. I'm, I'm on the floor and it's just, whether they were competitors, um, you know, 20 years ago or someone I, you just meet that weekend, there's so many incredible people in this sport. Uh, that, that's my favorite thing about it. You look at the D1 qualifiers every year, PA is head and shoulders, usually double everybody else. The next, the second place team, PA, is double. And you know, it's, it hasn't just started being that way, but you're a big part of that PA maintaining that supremacy at the at division one level, division two, you defeat, you, you competed at the D2 level. Right, yep. So you know, and D1, right? Yep. So you, you, you know, they're probably both near and dear to your heart, but does that a point of pride for you, for PA to just be dominating, having the most qualifiers and being, having the most All-Americans and doing what they do every year? Yeah, I, I think it's just really a product of, um, you know, how many people care in Pennsylvania about wrestling. It's so popular. Um, so yeah, I, I would like to think that Young Guns is a big part of that. But there are so many clubs that do a great job in PA, um, and really across the country. But you know, there are so many clubs in PA, and I think that's it's really important. I, I don't want to, you know, I'll pat myself on the back and say it's just because Young Guns. That's not true. You know, there are so many people in clubs and in programs, and um, you know, you have high school coaches all over the, the state with state champions and national champions and NCAA All Americans that are high school coaches, and you know, kids have so many opportunities in Pennsylvania. You know, in every any given weekend, there's you know one club doing a clinic with this you know a former national champ. You go 10 minutes down the road, and there's you know one here. So there's a lot of opportunities for the kids to get better, um, no matter where you go in the state. You're running the session. I'm really excited. I got a yeah. feeling there's gonna be some mat work. That's right, absolutely. Right, All on the mat. We're not gonna touch our feet. Oh, I love that. You know, I love that. <laughs> Lawrence is gonna try to. He, you watch. He's gonna try to jump in and get some live goes on the feet. But no, we're gonna we're gonna go on the mat this session. I love it. Being on the mats is such a deficit for us in Ohio. We have done better, and you know we've gotten we've improved on the mat, right? Yeah. We've gotten better. If you look at just like Logan Stever, you yeah, know, I was just going to mention, yeah, he Stever. was a big yeah, reason right. why we, you know, we got better. We got better. It's yeah. you know, in, in his culture and what he's pushed and what Ohio State does and all right. the, the, the schools, but uh, colleges are here. And the whole point is get kids exposure to colleges. That's what the combine is, the hammer camp mentality right. is, right? Um, what do you want a kid to get out of meeting the Bucknell coach, Coach Valley, or? Win Mahalik from Campbell, right? Or uh, yeah. D three coach uh, Chandler Menard, Defiance College. What do you want them to get out of meeting or having those guys watching them? Yeah, I think that's cool. And um, you know, as a coach, what I really want is, you know, I want them to come here and learn and get better and improve um, to get ready for a tournament like Super Thirty Two that's coming up or their high school seasons. However, how cool is it that you know that you got a number on your back and a coach is looking through it and like, who is that kid? That I do want to impress them with my hustle, my effort, uh, my technique. And um, yeah, after session, a coach comes up and introduces himself, and uh, hey, that might be the start of something that you know kind of changes the rest of your life, where you go to college, and who your best friends are, and who the best man in your wedding is. And you know, it's crazy that maybe a simple workout like this could start to, to change that path of your life. It's Spencer Lee and and Bo are very similar in their style. They're dominating on top. They're killers on top. Are those guys, do you want guys, do you think you can have a guy like that every five, ten years that, that moves your program forward? Do you yeah, think you I, can get I mean, a guy I, like that? I, yeah, maybe it's um, not fair to say that, but yeah, I do. Uh, that's the expectation that we do want that to happen. And, and I think a lot of it starts with that role model. You know, that role model, I want to be like him. I want to be like him. And, and, and that kid is in the room. So it's not just like, hey, I want to be like Michael Jordan, who you've never seen or met or anything. It's I want to be like that kid who's the best in the world and he's in the room that I'm in. So I see it and I see what he's doing. I see how he's training. I see his lifestyle, that he doesn't drink, that he doesn't smoke, that he doesn't do drugs. You know, that I want to be like him and it's it's real. It's right in front of me. You know, and now young kids are saying that, you know, my, my five-year-old son absolutely loves Bo. You know, he loves Bo and Keegan. So um, I think it's real that you have real life role models that they're seeing every single day that, um, that they want to be like on the mat and off the mat. Five-year-old son, right? Yeah. I have a five-year-old son. Um, how are you treating it so far with the wrestling? You know, I talked to Lawrence about it. Yeah. He's got two sons. How do you treat the wrestling? Because it's so easy to just go all in on it yeah. and be a crazy dad about it. Right. Right. Like, I let my kids choose if they want to go to practice. That's my biggest thing right yeah. now. My wife's like, don't make them go if they want to go. I'm like, right. yeah. Right. So they don't want to go, we don't make them go. They yep. want to go, let's go. Let's go have fun. Let's play. Let's do the games. How right. are you creating a positive association with wrestling Man, if you are? So far, it's been amazing. He did one tournament as a five-year-old last year, and he went two and two, and he just did an awesome job. He, he was um, win, lose. It didn't matter. Like, he didn't cry. He, you know, he was really, really into it. Um, so we'll see. Uh, right now, 
he's having an absolute blast. He loves it. Um, and again, it's someone that he uh, he's around so much, you know, and the kids treat him so good. You know, Bo and Keegan, and, and um, doesn't matter where I'm at, you know, if I'm in Murraysville practice, the older boys are always t uh, talking to him or, or they'll wrestle with them. And um, obviously with all the camps that we do at the house, you know, Spencer will come over and, you know, Spencer Lee's just one of his, um, you know, older kind of brothers that he looks up to and, you know, spends time with. So he doesn't know how lucky he is. You know, he's always around it. But so far, it's been amazing. You know, he loves going to practice with me. He rides in the car and um, doesn't matter if it's real close practice or, um, you know, he went to Iowa City for a camp with us. And Really? Oh, yeah. He, Did you he fly or drive? We drove. He, oh, yeah, we, we took the it. RV and um, he was right with the boys. And again, the boys just treat him so good. So, so far, it's been incredible. I know it's not going to be always, you know, this easy and whenever there's uh, a lot of pressure on him and different stuff like that as he gets older. But it's been an absolutely incredible the first year. So we'll see how that goes. I heard the best rumor ever. You have a Kent State room in your house. Is that true? Um, there's a lot of Kent State memorial uh, memorabilia in it. Now we've had kids, so now it's turned kind of to, to unicorns and, and butterflies. <laughs> so my daughter took over that room. Okay, and you did so have Kent State stuff. We did, room. yeah, I heard yeah. That. So your we, wife, your wife went. I went to college with your wife. Absolutely, that's awesome. Yeah. So when we build the house, I mean, again, we built it ourselves and we painted ourselves and did everything. And was like, well, what color is this room? Like, well, we're, we're running out of grays and everything's this and that. So we made one in Iowa room, you know, with kind of my memorabilia stuff, and then one was Kent State. And then, did like you I have said, a UPJ? Oh uh, yeah, absolutely. Well, the UPJ was the blue and the gold, so okay. it, it went like, together. It went together with the Kent State. Yes, yeah, so we had I love, UPJ yeah, I think, and Kent I stuff think, together. Uh, that's right. Bassett told me that I want yep. to say. That's right. Awesome. All right, the top work is the mat work. Sorry, the mat work is coming. I'm excited. Uh, anything good on the warm up that I need to? I'm gonna film the warm up. Whatever it is. Anything no, good? no. That what, warm up he does is really unique with the tumbling and stuff. Yeah, yeah. What Lawrence does, I like we'll do that. just a little bit of that and get right into it. Awesome. Just a little bit of gymnastics, which again, we're huge believers in, and I love it. I love that. You know, the best wrestlers in our sport are very, very athletic. Hold on. All right. Hold on, hold on. The gymnastics. <laughs> One year, Pinnacle came here and they had a bunch of gymnasts. <laughs> yeah. That's... They kind of kicked your tail. <laughs> that's right. Then for a whole year, you guys <laughs> concentrated on gymnastics. You came back the next year and kicked their tail. Yeah, that, again, it, it, it's something that we stress a lot. We I like love doing it. it. Um, and I think it's pretty cool. Like, it's like, some of the kids are like, well, I can't do a backflip. Well, once you try and you give effort and even little kids, you know, they start seeing it and like, well, that's just what you do. And so from a little time, you're little, you know, you're coming up in and start to do backflips. So I love it. All right, coach, thank you for the time. Absolutely. Good thank luck you. with you guys and young guys moving forward. All right. I appreciate it. Thank you.